Hey everybody, welcome back. We, we, I've been freestyling a little bit. It feels nice. You buy a bird, you roll once, you see what you got. You add a pill bug to the situation, you maybe get a cricket. I don't really know long term. It's round one. Why are we worried about the long term? Maybe just chill out a little bit. Let me be, um, I'm about a sizzling mushroom. That sounds nice. I've never been that big of a mushroom guy. Hey, let me take that back. There have been times throughout my life where I've been anti-mushroom. As we go up against Portobello, I would describe that loss as one of those times. Um, I've, I would say over the past, let's say, I don't know why I thought I was getting a buff there. Over the past five years, I've been more amenable to mushrooms. When they're present, I consume them. And sometimes I go, yum, what a nice mushroom. And sometimes I go, that mushroom's not really for me. I've recently gotten a lot more into them. I don't, I don't know if it's an age thing or if it's an exposure thing. So I always recommend, if you're a picky eater, I always recommend you should still keep trying new foods. And, you know, you might say, like, what do I gain if mushrooms taste, like, good to me versus if they taste bad? Like, I'm content in my current situation. That's fine. But you're going to be on planet Earth for a long time. Just a little something to spice it up. You know, there's a little side quest. You know, you, you'll be playing Dragon Age Inquisition. You'll be like, oh, I'm happy to pick 17 different herbs in the starting area, but I'm never going to work on myself. Come on. You're going to be here for like maybe 80, 90 years, something like that. Maybe to learn to like mushrooms. You get a check mark, you get 50 experience. You know, it, it, it's something, it's a conversation piece. Sorry, I, I apologize. I've gone off. Let's add a, a jellyfish because we have a level. Not really sold on any of this, to be honest with you. A roll. Oh. <laughs> it's not even that good. But when you laugh, it sounds like it's amazing. That's the important part, is that it sounds like you got something good. I think we can beat this team. Just looking at raw numbers here. You're not that strong. You're not that slick with it. Fair enough. Okay. They are almost that slick with it. Why don't you give me one of these? Why don't you give me one of these? A jellyfish would really hit the spot right now, but that's okay. I was fishing for another level. We're, we're very close to uh, another jellyfish level in particular, but I'm being very close to levels on many things. I'm still happy to have a jellyfish. I think the problem with the jellyfish is you have to know when to jettison. This feels like a loss. This feels like a loss. <laughs> Like a like a, a reasonably big loss, like a one HP loss. Okay, fair enough. That's not that big. You gotta if you don't get the level two jellyfish, you have to jettison ASAP. Let's freeze this. I hate to do this. I with God as my witness, I think the way we don't lose rounds in the mid game and live to fight another day is we put garlic on a couple of units. Maybe they stick around, maybe they don't. But if this jellyfish hits level two, it is not getting jettisoned. I'll tell you that much right now. We're fighting someone in the exact same position we're in, trying to make their jellyfish work, probably suffering for the right to do so. Happy to... One of us had to come out on top there. That's the important part. Roll me. You love to see this. How about one of these? I'm not, a, uh, I'm not an eel guy, I would say. Let's get our horse one away. Let's buff our jellyfish, because our jellyfish appears to be sticking around. I appreciate what the bird's done for me. We're three rounds away from chocolate, where the jellyfish is, like, destined to pop off. But it, we will only know if we can afford to have waited that long when it's already over, unfortunately. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. This feels like a draw. It's a win because our horse is so good. Let's go. Okay. Getting some duplicate units would hit the spot right now. Nothing. Oh, something. Uh, not on a pill bug. No, thanks. It's gone soon. I'm rolling. I love it. Start me here. Follow with one of these. Get the pill bug out of my face. I do, I do, I've not, here's the thing. We, we rely on this principle maybe a little too much. But... I have not found myself losing very often to vultures. So as a result, I don't feel compelled to take a vulture myself, okay? So our jellyfish is level two. We're getting... The, the crocodile is just like... It's a basically guaranteed one for one. Even better. Okay, not, not much better, but it's something. Man, if our cricket... If our cricket could at least... Let's go. You're a, it's a dream come true. We barely made it, but we made it. The math just worked out. Get some levels, it would hit the spot. It's tempting, right? It's tempting to go K 
caterpillar here because it does give us levels for the jellyfish. You sold me. Now, the cricket might be better, but the bluebird's close to helping our jellyfish. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to set it up like that. I'm going to call that a temporary regression for future gain. Nothing here is that interesting to me. Not that interesting. It's not that interesting. Not interested. I'm insulted, and yet here I go doing this again. You know what? Toss me... Try me some. I'm, I'm, I'm just shuffling the teams around just to do it at this point. You know, I just... Sometimes it doesn't feel right. Sometimes it does. My horse is, is gone. This feels like a draw. This feels like a... It feels like a loss. Oh. <laughs> oh, just barely. It's all right. Chocolate. We love to see it. What comes first here? It's a tough call, honestly. I know, I know the caterpillar is getting there next round. You probably go horse, natural. And then I think you probably sell it, honestly. Even though it's an 8 6, I think you say thanks for the gold. I think you take some stats. You probably go bird next to give your jellyfish some extra support. You probably can sell. I'm just way. Okay, there's a temptation, but you're going to get there anyway. So I almost feel like I just freeze you. And that, I mean, I guess we could get two of them going at the same time and then. I'm, I'm, I don't know yet, okay? How about sell me, buy me, and I do want a snake out there. I guess I'm willing to sell a bird to get a snake out there and, and try, try this on for size. Try this old, this old chestnut. I think it's got a genuine chance. We could run two caterpillars or we could combine them sooner rather than later to get a level three caterpillar like maybe next round. But this looks great right now. This is a dream come true. And it's free XP for the jellyfish, which is beautiful in and of itself. So you, you got a nice buff. Honestly, I think we can afford that, especially given that the buff from the jellyfish feeds into the buff from the caterpillar and vice versa. Not that interested. Not interested at all. Although two of these, if we lose the next round, would hit the spot. Not interested. Very interested, honestly. You're going you're gonna to get to level 3 if you want to get to level 3 anyway. Let's get the jellyfish a little closer. I'm a believer. Like, I think a draw here gives us a great chance for 10. Obviously, a win would be even better. What a hit. Now, this is real bad for my snake, but real good because the math just works. I, I think we're in a very, very good spot, quite frankly. I'm willing to go deep on the hubris there. Now you're like, let's get you there one round faster for great statistics potential. Not that interested. Very interested. You're going to get there anyway. <laughs> it's tempting to, no, that, let, that's a huge stat game. I'm very into that. So you're 26, 30, and, and then it feeds back into you as well. I am interested in you now. We could probably sell a snake in, well, I, it's tough. There's a lot of good stuff going on here. The point is at round 11, we have two 2631s, one of which has garlic. We have a sniper. We have a snake. We have a lot of, like, great stats going on. My, my caterpillar died, but it's not even my good caterpillar. So say it with me one more time. Who cares? Nobody. I think we win this one. This is a... Well, maybe we draw. We win this one. <laughs> oh, okay. This is looking great. Not sold on the ice cream this time. I'm, I'm getting... Look, I think Crocodile should go to the back so that you're not getting sniped. Maybe we don't even need a turtle because our stats are just too good to, to bother. You're one away. I could... Honestly, it's... I know that you're going to get there anyway, but you... Having a second 26-31 on turn 12 instead of turn 13 and, and drastically increasing our chances of getting a win matters more to me. And then it also helps our jellyfish which feeds into the other caterpillars... This is, a, this is a, a, a nightmare team. This is a nightmare team to go up against, I think. I think. I could be wrong. Because we did just lose one caterpillar in the process. So maybe maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. This, it, it took this kind of team to get a draw out of us, okay? They had to get a super snipe. Go ahead. Not interested in the orange. We have to be careful because none of these units really need a buff except the jellyfish. That's why we're rolling like very aggressively, particularly for chocolate. But Okay. If our caterpillar gets sniped, we care. If our crocodile gets sniped, we don't really care. But if they have like a level 2 crocodile, obviously I care. Killing an ox is, is freaking slick. 
feels awesome, feels amazing. Level three turtle, doesn't feel so nice, but we're still feeling great. Look at this, look at this, no, no problem. That's eight, right? That's nine. We're in a great spot, man. Take some stats, I suppose, at this point. I know I said it didn't matter. Let's, let's give it a chance to matter. I'm pretty confident. It's a spooky team. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, note to self. Level 3 crocodile plus tiger goes pretty hard. Um, especially with another tiger. Maybe we're not in the clear. Why don't you take one of those for, for safety's sake? It's amazing how fast life comes at you. I don't think the, the chili pepper is going to matter, but on three gold, on nine wins, and on lethal, we got to use that last three gold to do something. No, my squad. <laughs> I got to give you a lot of credit, honestly. This, so these are well-constructed, like, tiger crocodile teams. Holy cow. All right. Well, we got to nine. There's, there's some real pain involved there. Don't get me wrong. Okay, we got a 4-2. Um, I mean, there's just sometimes you just get some great names. We're still, it, let's focus on the important part, which is not my insane loss of pride after guaranteeing 10 wins and then getting killed by the same team twice in a row. Um, let's focus on the positive. And the positive is last three runs were 10, 9, 8. I would take an average of nine any day of the week. That would make you like the best Super Auto Pets player of all time, which is how you know that that's unsustainable. <laughs> but... <laughs> We gotta enjoy those periods of unsustainability while they last. Always reminds me of this Onion article that I saw. It's not to get too literary on you, but in the in the heydays of the 2021 bull market, it said new investor figuring out how, what, how to spend their $365,000 annual income after first day in the stock market. I always, whenever I have a great run of form in a video game, I always think about that. I'm like, man, if I just win a third of my Rumbleverse games forever, my God, I could get like a thousand wins. Okay, hold on. Level me. Level me. We have, for once, we have a bird that can pull its own weight, and I'll take a bat as well. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, we have another bird, too. Would you look at that? That's wild. I think I would take two bats for now, knowing that there's uh, only like a one in five chance, really that like one in N chance, where N is my opponent's squad size, which is almost always going to be five, but a, a, a roughly one in five chance that we get duplicate bat technology, which is uh, odds that I, I'll hang my hat on, quite frankly, even if we do get a draw. And the birds, were, we're close to level three, which gives us good bison tech. This, I Honestly, I would just give you one of these right now. You're accomplishing exactly what I wanted you to accomplish, and I would roll once, hypothetically speaking, such as. And uh, truth be told, I would rather just add a flamingo to the squad. And I, I think now we've got to recognize our mosquito is, is not long for this world. And I'm very glad that it did not receive the bird buff, starring Sandra Bullock, available on Netflix now, I'm assuming. I've never seen it. Would have been nice to overwrite the honey badger. I still think we win. What the heck? That doesn't change shit, I think. <laughs> this team's got a chance. It's got legs. This is our first win. But we also only have one HP down. Sure. You know what? Why not? Now, this changes the game. We'll roll two capybara. This is a, it's, it's a situation fraught with danger. So there's a weird one. I'm going to put garlic on a bird. I'd like to keep two capybaras out because we got some pivots coming our way. We, we're genuinely spoiled for options right now. Which is usually a good thing, but it's also like it creates some paralysis. Because when there's so many good things to do, you're like, what's the best one? And sometimes that can lead you down a, a path of danger. Now, I think getting a level three bat would be real sick if we could swing it. So I'm, I'm sold there. I like having two capybaras available for like the pivot potential. I think that our bluebird has been very generous in its distributions of buffs, rarely going to units that are, you know, merely going to be around for the short term. The flamingo is going to get pilled, but otherwise, like, 
I think this is going very well. We've, we've made some rock stars out of some units that most of the time are not that impressive stat-wise, like the bird and the, and the bat. Okay, but now we need some levels. We're so... I, I have to take this bison. I have... I believe that this bison, even though it's going to take one round off, I have to believe that we're going to get to level three within the next two rounds. Because in two rounds, chocolate shows up. The odds of us not getting a level by then are, are very low, I hope. <laughs> I would be pretty disappointed if we didn't. Level two horse. Luck is on our side a little bit. Still on our side. It would be great to get a bird or a bat before that thank you so much that was i couldn't have asked for more so in this case now we can focus our xp on the bison so i think let's keep a blobfish around it's really hard to dump like an 11 4 flamingo for nothing i think i'll just put uh like honey on our capybara for now we're really we're waiting on a pill for our flamingo because it, it has soaked up some good buffs like it's gonna one for one it's probably not going to do much more than that, ever, but just the one for one is still pretty solid. We're already at five. Feeling like I'm like, this is good piloting right here. Okay, can I just like hit you with it the honest way? This is obviously very nice. The bat would also be nice, and the capybara would also be nice, but you got you to gotta pick your battles. Let's take a, a, a very small smattering of stats. I feel pretty good about this team on round nine, but the flamingo needs to stop stealing my my dang buffs, man. <laughs> like this, that's not cool, dude. You're supposed to be on my side. It wait, did the honey? Did the honey save us? Do I look like a genius? Three gold well spent. I would still say take the stats, even though I. I don't know, maybe at this point, we actually don't kill the Flamingo. We kill the Capybara. I still think you kill the Capybara. We'll just give you one of these first. Dude, there's something about an Alpaca here, for sure. But I think the Capybara can go, and then a Blobfish in front of the Flamingo for now. But then we probably want to set it up like that. The Bird has bizarrely become like our weakest unit. Great buffing, though, great buffing. Strong team, decent active effects. We're not relying too much on equipment, so I'm not, I'm not super sweating like the, the, the microbe or whatever. I feel like we're still looking pretty good, although an ox is always a little spooky. Um, in fact, it's exactly, uh, you set it up perfectly. Never mind. Nice Twin Peaks name, by the way. I'm not mad or whatever. Here's a crazy one. What do you think about this? So then we're only one pill away from uh, gaining two experience points. <laughs> I think we're basically one pill away from a level three bison, which is very nice. But I do think... This again, huh? Um, we need... And it's not... I'm not just saying it to say it. We need more. One level three bison is not, with the current state of the player base, i.e. nerds, <laughs> no offense, <laughs> but I mean, it's just us left. The current state of the player base, you gotta, you gotta bring a little more to the table. But I do think, like, in principle, that should give us enough for the short term, like... A, a 150-50 unit around, like, round 15. A level 3 bat. That's, that should be good enough for, like, 7. Or, I don't know. Maybe we lose right here, apparently. Apparently, we're actually going to lose right here. So, so, disregard everything I've previously stated. We got the luckiest draw of all time. Holy cow. I don't know what to do. <laughs> How about... Okay, freeze the tiger... Sure, I'd really like to pill a blobfish. I'd really like to pill a blob because you, you know what? I, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. 
I think our only way out, for real, I think our only way out is to sell you and then run an insane bet. And I got it set up, thus so I got the tiger at the back because it's the least valuable unit as long as it's start of battle effect gets off. The bison is already almost 50-50 anyway. We're not really worried about getting the bison to level 3 anymore. At least this gives us a good chance of getting 4 units covered with weakness, which may allow our bison to actually thrive. It may override pieces of equipment that could bother us even more than the pieces of equipment that have already bothered us a lot. I also just think we've gone up against a lot of strong teams recently. We do have a lack of, of broad scaling, so we got problems there. But let's let's scale you, maybe. Okay, look at this. Here we are. You kept making the stops. People kept ringing the bell. You can go, but you got to go for the right unit. None of you are the right unit. But you have a chance to get to level three, like, next time, which would be pretty sick. Not that you need not that the tiger needs to go to level three at all. The bird is the weak link for sure. Great overriding. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, honestly. I feel like we're on the same team again. I feel like getting rid of that blobfish saved me. Putting a, a re-emphasis on stats instead of uh, just, you know, uh, experience has, has actually helped me out a lot. Thank you so much. I don't even know who should get this, honestly. I feel like the secret with the chocolate is you should actually feed whatever unit replaces the bird. You don't need to go to level three. You're, you're buffing a bat. You're already doing... Look, you could go to level three. I'm running the probabilities. So three of five units will be weak on the enemy team. Then we'll shoot another two right now. Each one is a 40% chance to actually weaken a new enemy. So there's a 16% chance we get all five. There is a 36% chance that we get no new, i.e. we only weaken three. And then there's like a roughly 50%, a 48% chance that we get one. So on average, we're going to get four or five. And then the, like 50% of the time, we're going to get four or five. 50% of the time, we're going to get three. I don't know if it's worth the nine gold investment to get a slightly better chance. <laughs> now I'm like, if we shoot three times, that's three one in four chances. And I'm like, ah, look, here. I, I don't think it's worth nine gold for that. But we're not, you know what? We're not doing anything else. So I do think it's, because when you, let's factor in the fact that we get extra stats up as well. You know what I mean? Like right now I'm buying this literally just because it's a one one. Who knows? Maybe you being a 9-8 gives us a 0.75% better chance to draw, which then when you factor it into the weaknesses we're applying to the enemies, you get the idea. The, the long and short of it is I don't think anybody knows. Okay, well, you, you crushed it. it was <laughs> so I don't think a level 3 tiger was going to save us. We've lowered our average to like 8.6, whatever. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps it a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.